in this video we will discuss about timers timers are very important in plc ladder logic programming they do many functions they will provide a delay time to make an output on or to make an output off as per our requirement now we will discuss about on delay timer so what is on delay timer the name itself says it is delaying the on output on for a certain time okay for example we need an output to be turned on after 5 seconds then we can use an on delay timer you got it if you see there is a simple timer logic is given here which represents how to use a on delay timer the timer is an output instruction like we are already known how to use outputs y0 y1 y2 and internal memory bits m0 m1 m2 similarly the timers is also an output instruction we have to define the timer in output side see this is one of the example timers are represented with letter t and followed by number of the timer like we have inputs x0 x1 x2 x3 like that outputs y0 y1 y2 y4 and so on similarly the timers also called as t0 t1 t2 t3 t4 and so on when you are defining the timer we have to define the required delay time whatever it may be a 5 second delay or 10 second delay or 50 second delay whatever it is we have to define it in the logic now we will go to software and we'll see the basic timer function so go to category c and open first section minimize this one now the plc is in run mode so you have to click edit ladder program will change to program mode we can do the configuration now so i am taking one input i am taking one selector switch so enter x24 x24 okay we will assign one timer here so timer is an out output instruction so take the coil so enter t0 i want to use timer 0 so i enter timer 0 if you want timer 5 enter t5 if you want timer 10 enter t10 okay provide one space now type k k is a constant here it is a fixed letter you have to use it while defining the timer and we have to enter the time delay here okay say for example i want a 3 second delay or 2 second delay we have to enter 2 followed by 0 20 the final timing will be multiplied by 0.1 here if 2 20 is multiplied by 0.1 it will be 2 so this timer will provide 2 seconds of on delay time if you want 3 second then you have to enter 30 if you want 5 second then you have to enter 50 like that there are different timings or different timers will be available but in this video we are discussing about the simple timer click okay we already know how to use the status of outputs in the input side right similarly the timers we have to follow same way so take one anvo content i want to use the status of timer okay so enter timer number t0 
click OK. I want to turn on a lamp after certain time. Here my time is 2 seconds. So take one output. I want to activate this lamp, lamp 1. Address is Y20. So enter Y20. Click OK. So my basic timer logic is completed. The color background color is in gray color. So we have to compile it. Click on convert. Now the compiling is completed. So click on write to PLC to download into the PLC. So click OK. So now the PLC is in run mode. So we can do the simulation now. So I'm activating the input x24. We will see what will happen. Okay. So click on x24. My input is on. Timer is started. So timer counting is completed. So timer reaches 20 sec 2 seconds as we take an envo content. When our timer timing timer is completed, the content means timer is activated. Whenever it is activated, the content of timer will be changed. As we take an envo content, it becomes close. So on. So output is on. Our lamp is on. For better testing, I will increase the timer. Double click on timer. So enter 40. Click OK. Again convert. Then download. OK. I am going to activate the timer with the input X24. Again timer is activated. Again output is on. So again I will increase this timing for better understanding. I will provide 10 second delay. So enter 100. Click OK. Convert. Download. OK. So I am activating the input. It is input on. Timer is started. See, if I deactivate the input, then the timer value is also reset, right? Timer value becomes zero. So you have to remember that the input must be turned on continuously for the timer to complete its operation. If the input is deactivated before the timer completes its operation, then timer has to start from zero again. So when our input activates, input turns on, the timer is started. This is the present value. Whenever it reaches this 100, it will activate the timer, right? So timer is activated with the help of timer content T0 we are activating the output lamp. So what we, what is happening here after set 10 time the output will be turned on in this example. This is nothing but on delay timer right. This type of logic is very important when implementing industrial logics. Okay, I will meet you in the next session.